Welcome to the sixth tutorial of this series. In this tutorial, we will learn commonly used functions, how to concatenate text strings, concatenation of numbers and text, and the opposite of concatenation, that is how to separate strings of text. So let's get started. The database we are using is clinical system. select from we are going to use table staff the fields we are choosing uh, staff name staff gender staff role let's run and see the results staff name staff gender staff role now we are going to concatenate three pieces of string first of all say staff name and plus sign apostrophe space apostrophe plus staff gender plus sign same method and then finally staff role name gender role we run this query and see the results so it is showing name first and then gender and finally role of the staff we can also put a comma in between to separate the string like that if you want to now you can see the name name comma gender comma role in the next part we are going to learn how to join strings with numbers so staff name is a string if we put staff ID which is a number if we try to join staff name plus similarly staff ID it won't work the reason is because this is waka which is text and this is number so we need to convert n uh, this um, number into text and then we can join it for that purpose what we need to do is we need to cast uh, use a function called cast cast staff id as Worker. two characters and close the bracket if we run now now you can see name and ID are joined together we can alias the field as string plus number like that in the next section i'm going to show you another function which is it works as similarly as cast staff name plus apostrophe space apostrophe plus we it's called convert v-e-r-t convert and then it's slightly different from cast we need to put waka first two characters and then comma and then name of the field which is staff id close the bracket and execute and see same results just two different type of functions in the next 
section we are going to learn how to f uh, separate first name from the second name so let's leave this one and delete staff id2 to find out the first name we will use two functions called left and char index first of all left function left uh, name of the field and how many characters we want to see comma in there so it will display five characters from staff name starting from the left as you can see first five characters steve joel ethan and so on in second name uh, in joel there's a space at the end which we can't see at the moment the second function we use is called char index the character we are looking for is a space and then name of the field execute so it displays us uh, where the space is in between the name in the first name the space is at seventh character and the second one is at fifth characters sixth and so on if we replace this fun function with number five and leave this we also need to take away space so we're putting minus one and execute this now it will display us the first name regardless of the length for example the first name is Stephen which is six characters next is Joel four characters five characters and so on S same as left function there is a function called right which does the same job staff name let's say five characters it will display five characters from a name starting from the right you can see five characters from the right to find out the surname or the last name we will use a function called len it calculates the length of the string execute this so the first name has 16 characters second one is 9 the third one is 10 and so on what we'll do next is we will use len function staff name total length of the char uh, characters minus this function which we used previously char index control C minus char index so when we run this it will display us the number of characters uh, in the surname so it, it stops where uh, it sees a uh, space so in the first name Spielberg there are nine characters the second surname coin is four again four five and so on now if we use right function field name is staff name and then if we copy the length and paste there it displays as the surname or the last name of the uh, person uh, from staff table so what we are doing here is we are saying display us from the right the field name is staff name the length of uh, length of the total name 
this function take away char index which is a space and then display us the name so it is displaying us the surname now we do another thing which is well, let's delete all of this which we don't need and this is we know this is surname execute again what we are going to do we are going to put back both the names in reverse order so we are already displaying the surname we concatenate this by adding plus sign apostrophe and then let's put a comma in between and then another apostrophe and plus sign it will concatenate the surname with the first name now we will add the right function uh, sorry left function for the first name left staff name and then char index let's put in a capital char index function and the char index function is looking for a space in staff name field and we are taking away that one character which was a space and let's call this alias as reverse name execute this now you can see the full name is first one is steven spielberg is gone other way around spielberg steven um joel cohen and and so on so this is how we can uh, put the names in reverse order i hope you enjoyed this video please post your comments and feedback there are more videos available to watch and learn from so please don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial